Hi, today we are going to learn how can we prove that a language is not regular because pumping lemma is a negativity test. So if a language is finite, so it is always regular. If it is infinite, so it may be regular or may not be regular. May be regular language or may not be. So a language is not regular for that it should not follow pumping lemma. So pumping lemma says if there is a language L. So if it is a regular then it must be recognized by a some machine finite machine deterministic finite automata and there would be some state like P. And if we assume a string W which is part of L. For example, if I have taken L equal to A e power N where N is greater than or equal to 1. For this, you may create DFA Q0 and it is A. For N is greater than or equal to 0. So this is also final. Epsilon will be accepted and A is accepted. If N is greater than or equal to 1, for that Q0, A, Q1 and Q1 is final and there is a loop. So you may see if it is infinite language, either N is greater than or equal to 0 or N is greater than or equal to 1, the finite automata, deterministic finite automata has some loop. So, and it has a, some pattern, a sequence of pattern. If this sequence of pattern we have found, then language is regular. So it says, if there is a string, for example, you, ha you have taken a, a, which is part of this language, and its, its length is 2. And the state here is also 2. So it is greater than or equal to 2. Satisfy this condition. Even the minimum you may take as a A. And the number of states you may find that after receiving A, it is in final state, but we are taking the strings which is a length is greater than or equal to P. Number of states should be less than length of string. Then W can be written as X, Y, Z in three parts. So why we have divided W into three parts? Because there may be a loop, there would be a loop and there may be some string before the loop and there may be some string after the loop. For example, there is a string a power n, b and here you can mention c. l equal to c a power n, b such that n is greater than or equal to 1. So this is also regular language and this string requires some loop and there may be some string before the loop and some string after the loop. That's why we have divided W into X, Y, Z where mod of Y is greater than or equal to 1. It means at least there should be one loop. Mean at least one time you read it as A. So that for all M is greater than or equal to 0 x y e power m z belongs to same language. Malab, you have to find m values of m if it is some sequence and that also belongs to language l then it is a regular language. So if there is a regular set means set of a string it will follow pumping lemma. But it is difficult to prove that all regular set has followed 
pumping lemma so we go for negativity test that if a language does not follow pumping lemma then it is not regular so we go for this contradiction state for example this is a language and i have to prove that this is a not regular for this i have assumed that uh, l is a regular let l is a regular and p is number of states that is uh that is created in dfa and w equal to 1 ki power n where n is greater than equal to p obviously the mod of w is greater than equal to p so we can divide this w into three parts w equal to x y z it may be 1 ki power a 1 ki power b and 1 ki power c which is a plus b plus c equal to n so it also belongs to same language l so for some m which is greater than equal to 0 if i found that there is some m for that this does not belong to a language l then it is not regular so here from this x is equal to 1 ki power a y equal to 1 ki power b and z equal to 1 ki power c so if y ki power m mean 1 ki power b ki power m which is 1 ki power m b and for some m i have taken as a m equal to 1 plus k why i have taken 1 plus k because already 1 power n that belongs to language l is n equal to a plus b plus c so for m b i have divided m equal to 1 plus k so after m pumping it will form n plus k b n plus k b number of ones will be 1 n plus k b how it is n plus k b number of ones because if i have put it here x is equal to y power m z which is also equal to 1 ki power a and 1 ki power 1 plus k from here k and 1 ki power c so which is equal to 1 ki power a 1 ki power b and 1 ki power k b and 1 ki power c to 1 ki power a b and c a plus b plus c is n and k b i have put it here so this is also prime but it is not true why it is not true consider k equal to n consider a n plus k plus b equal to should be prime but it is not true because if consider k equal to n then n plus n plus k b equal to n plus n b which is equal to n 1 plus b and which is not prime not prime why it is not prime because since b is greater than equal to 1 
so for b is greater than or equal to 1 if you will find this equation is not prime so if it is not prime it means we have found some value of m for that 1 ki power n is a not prime so it is not regular it fails pumping lemma you may put one more extra one more condition that is x y is less than equal to p in this public lemma and this shows we have put an extra restriction I mean it is possible to subdivide value of w in particular way with the total length x y is less than equal to p it means you have to find the loop within x y however you can prove the language is not regular using these three conditions also so regular language if it is asked that prove this is a not regular you may say that if i have not created dfa equivalent to this language then that is not regular or if i have not found a particular sequence or pattern so it is not regular and if it is says that using pumping lemma prove it this is not regular so you have to follow the condition so if this pumping lemma is not followed by some conditions then that is not regular language on some value of m if it does not follow then it is not regular thank you